So, namaste everybody. And uh, I would like also that um, our dear uh, ambassador, His Excellency Raj Kumar Shivastava, uh, to connect. And we start with um, <coughs> today's webinar. And um, we are very happy that uh, we have today's special guest on our webinar, Udai Vishwanath Deshpande, great master of the ancient uh, art of Malakamb. And uh, I was very happy to meet him 12 years ago in uh, Bhopal in one uh, congress on yoga, yoga devoted to the Maharishi Patanjali. Right. Uh, Udai ji, he um, uh, brought with him uh, his students of Malakamb, the ladies and the boys, and they were performing extraordinary um, uh, art on the rope and on the big uh, wooden stick. <laughs> so it is a great uh, honor to greet um, you and uh, that we start, that we hear your wisdom in that regard. And um, uh, Udai, <coughs> and Udai Vishwana Deshpande is also uh, the foremost, for, foremost expert of Malakam in India, and he is also the secretary of uh, Vishwa Malakam Federation of India, and promoting that art not only all over the India, but also in other countries all over the world. And um, I would like His Excellency Rajkumar Shivastava to address our speaker. Thank you, Yogacharya Miklitz, uh, uh, once again for organizing this uh, uh, virtual uh, seminar uh, or meeting where you get the experts from all over the world, including from India. And we have the pleasure of having uh, Mr. Sri Vishnath Deshpande for uh, this today's session, a special session because we don't have uh, such a special personalities uh, who have an, a special talent and experience uh, of uh, performing uh, yoga in a malakam form. So definitely this will be a unique uh, session which we will get to be, uh, get some experience about, uh, listen to him and see how he derives uh, the peace and happiness through this special performing art, which is connected with yoga and connecting with your inner self. Uh, I look forward to hear uh, him and as well as uh, see what are uh, some important lessons for people who even do not do the malcolm but can get some ideas about uh, from such kind of art forms. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And um, dead man cook, I, I think I should begin now, is it? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, uh, Raj Srivastava, the ambassador of India uh, in Croatia, and all the uh, respected uh, viewers and listeners, I'm really delighted to have this opportunity to express to you what Malkham is and how Malkham is influential or beneficial for each and everybody in this mankind. So let's begin with this word, Malla Kham. Malla is a wrestler and Kham is a pole. So origin of this Malkham, it goes back to a complementary exercise for wrestling. It's a simple wooden pole of about eight and a half feet in height, smooth, well-polished, tapering at the top, and different acrobatic exercises and yogic postures are performed on that. Another variety is rope malkham, a simple cotton rope covered with canvas coating. It is hanged to the ceiling about 16 feet above the ground. And then again, different yogic acrobatic exercises are performed on this thin cotton rope. Now you'll be surprised how this will be influential or how this will benefit to a human person, your human being. Basically, all the different parts of the body 
right from the tip of the toes to the tip of the fingers i'll get best exercise on apparatus when we go to the gym there are different machines to different body parts you want to do the calf exercises there is different machine for the thighs there is different machine for the back for the stomach for the shoulders for the arms for the wrist different machines are there but here only one machine the wooden pole or a cotton hook and you get exercise to each and every minute muscle of your body and not only to the external muscles like biceps and triceps but also to the internal systems like respiratory circulatory digestive and your disease resistance power is improved that is the most important the immunity we have seen during this pandemic uh, last two years that you may be a big uh, politician uh, big leader of the world you may be uh, uh, having lot of money lot of people working under you you may be extraordinarily brilliant or may be good in your acting or uh, music or singing but a small wire enters to your body nothing will help except your immunity except your disease resistance power and that disease resistance power is improved by malcolm that is scientifically proved one of my colleague dr nita tatke she had made research on malcolm while doing her phd from sndt university in mumbai and she has again scientifically established that regular practice of malcolm not only improves your physical abilities but also the mental abilities like grasping memory and that will help in your academic career also so we want to promote this malcolm not only to the younger generation school going and college going students but also to the senior citizens also to the elderly people because malcolm is not practiced only by the children it's a misconception that only children can do malcolm it's not so anybody of any age can learn malcolm all those who are sitting here and listening to me i can promise that if they want to learn malcolm they will definitely learn it and if they cannot learn that means i cannot teach that is the simple principle i have and uh, i had been to about 50 countries so far right in europe almost many countries like germany spain portugal italy france england and um, zec republic and netherlands and austria and also to the uk usa and in asia or malaysia vietnam singapore and uh, uh, mauritius so we want to promote this malcolm fortunately our prime minister honorable shri narendra modi ji has provoked he has advocated malcolm in his man ki baat that malcolm is of ancient traditional indian physical culture and it's our bound duty to promote malcolm not only in india but abroad also so we had conducted the first malcolm world championship in mumbai on 16th and 17th february 2019 and the second world championship was scheduled to be held in usa during the september 22 unfortunately they declined due to some reasons so now we are looking for whether we can conduct it in bhutan or nepal and next year in 23 the second world championship will happen in the first world championship 15 countries had participated but i am sure in the second world championship at least 50 countries will participate so this is how malcolm is now spreading up it is now known as the fastest growing sport in the world and we have uh, find the references of malcolm right in mahabharata and ramayana period so it's ancient traditional culture of india in malla puran the old epic more than 1000 years ago lord krishna was teaching to climb on the pole to some youth there is also one kapala kurantaka yoga where there are mentions that on a rope how the different yogic postures can be performed rajju yoga uh, one swami nityananda from nityananda ashram bangalore he has named pole malkham as shiva stambha yoga and the rope malkham as kundalini rajju yoga and he has got about 180 centers all over the world and he has started teaching malkham in each and every branch of his ashram 
I was fortunate to get an opportunity to go to Singapore, Malaysia in his ashram and teach Malcolm to the new uh, who I practiced Malcolm earlier in Bangalore and they learned a lot. So Malcolm is when I conducted my first camp in Singapore in 2006, the first person who was doing it was 80 years old, KP Bhaskar. And uh, I have got one student, Shanti Lal Sangvi, who is started learning Malcolm at the age of 82. And when we conducted the first world championship in 2019, he gave a live demonstration during the inauguration ceremony of that world championship when he was 89 years old. So Malcolm can be practiced by anybody, everybody. There are three blind schools in Mumbai. Shrimati Kamla Mehta School for the Blind Dada, Happy Home for the Blinds in Varli, and Victoria Memorial School for the Blind in Tardev. And all the students in this blind school, they perform Malcolm. And they perform in such a way that when you observe them performing, you can't believe that they are blind. So Malcolm can be practiced by anybody of any age, irrespective of his, whether he's thin or whether he's fat or whether he's very weak or whether he's very tall, nothing. Anybody can practice Malcolm and it will be benefited. It is like extension of yoga on the rope or on the pole. So there are different, different asanas, like say Pashyamottanasana, you must be knowing that. Sitting with straight legs and touching the toes with your hands. If you are quite flexible, then you can touch your elbows to the ground. You can touch your chest to the thighs, forehead to the knees. If your bending is good, you can achieve these targets. If your bending is not good, you can just keep your hands close to your toes and you'll get the same benefit. So anybody who tries to learn Malkham, he will be benefited by practicing whatever his ability is there. And slowly he will improve his strength, stamina, speed, flexibility, neuromuscular co coordination, balance, confidence, courage. So all the abilities which are required in any kind of sport, they are best developed on the simple apparatus. We have got district Malkham associations in like Mumbai. We have got state Malkham association. There are 30, 30, 36 districts in Maharashtra. And each and every district has district Malkam Association affiliated to the state association. And like Maharashtra, there are 33 states in our country. And every state has got registered state Malkam Association and it is affiliated to the Malkam Federation of India. And like Malkam Federation of India, there are now Malaysian Malkam Federation, Germany Malkam Federation, USA Malkam Federation, UK Malcolm Federation, Japan Malcolm Federation, Nepal Malcolm Federation. So the number of federations is going to increase now. Even Uruguay and Nigeria, they are also showing interest in starting Malcolm in their country. It doesn't require any big playground or it doesn't require costly equipment, just a wooden pole and a cotton rope. That's all. And once you get it, it will be there with you for years together. So there is no perpetual uh, recurring expenses. No big place is required, no equipment is required, and maximum number of people from all the ages can take benefit of that. We had started the first Malcolm National Championships in 1980-81, and every year we conduct the National Malcolm Championships in India in different states. And more than 20 countries, uh, states participate in these national championships. And since the government of India has taken keen interest as per the guidance of Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Ji Modi and also the Sports Minister Anurag Thakur or before that Kiran Vijiju or before that uh, 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 we had Harshavardhan Rathod. All these sports ministers were keen in promoting Malkam. Now every Malkam player who wins the medal in the national championship gets 10,000 rupees per month as scholarship. That is 1,20,000 per annum. And the, through the Kelo India, they have started developing 100 Malkam centers all over India. Each center will be given the equipment worth 5 lakhs of rupees. 
like pole malkam rope malkam the mattresses the crash mats everything so i'm sure in near future the spread of malkam will be much more and naturally the benefit of that will spread all over it makes now during one more point i would like to bring to your notice due to the change lifestyle in the developing countries like yours or underdeveloped countries like ours there are some common problems like during the 35 40 years of life the youth they get they start getting back ache stomach ache or neck ache because of change lifestyle the sedentary lifestyle now malkam makes us supple agile and all these ailments will be gone secondly there are some mental benefits also like suppose a, per, a student he studies very hard and he doesn't get the desired result in the exams he gets frustrated or he gets good marks but he doesn't get admission to the desired course or even after completing his education it doesn't he did not get a job what is seeking for so he gets frustrated then it turns to smoking drinking and drugs so malkam is the best remedy for all this it makes you mentally strong that's why we want to promote malkam to make the world we call it sudrur bharat sashakt bharat that means strong india and uh, disease free india and ultimately disease free world the strong and healthy world so that's our motto to promote malkam so i have been to about 50 countries so far i don't charge anything it's a four days workshop or uh, morning evening two hours in the morning two hours in the evening and any number of participant can enroll they get the first hand training the experience on the rope or on the pole and once they start doing it regularly they will get all these benefits i've got so many examples the people suffering from hernia or people some suffering from uh, different disease like blood pressure diabetes once they start doing malkam all these elements are cured so i wish we should promote malkam through our jadranko in croatia i'll be conducting one workshop on 15th and 16th of october next month but anybody who is interested they can write to me and uh, we will definitely decide the convenient period and we will start activity of malkam i can bring the rope from india to make the pole over there will give you all the details about the uh, measurements of the pole and the shape and the size it is made of teak wood and uh, it weighs about 50 to 80 kg so if it is possible we can transport it courier it or ship it to your address and we can start the poll i can i remember one more a uh, small incidents that one uh, reinhard bogler who is a german uh, yoga teacher he was when he was small young he was suffering from many ailments so somebody advised him why don't you try yoga he switched to yoga he learned yoga and he got the good results so he started learning more and more about yoga he came to india he visited dr bk s ayengar ji in pune and uh, after completion of his course he was moving around in pune to some areas where he saw malkam being practiced he was fascinated he took lot of pictures lot of photographs and uh, videos and after going back to germany he wrote one 350 pages book in german language on yoga and he printed four pages about the malkam information and photographs there and he was constantly thinking that somebody from germany i will send to india he will learn malkam and come back here and will start the malkam training in germany unfortunately he was not getting anybody in 1992 uh, one of his uh, disciples uh, in 2002 one of his disciples schneider she was 49 years of age 
But she said, I will go to Germany, I will learn Malkam, and I will come back to Germany, and I will start teaching Malkam here. She went to the same institution where Dr. Reinhardt had, had seen Malkam being practiced. But the person over there who was in charge of the institution, he said, are you fool? Malkam is practiced only by the children and not by the adults. So you cannot learn Malkam. So she was very frustrated. And then she went to Osho Ashram in Pune. And uh, there she met one person, Rahul Kesarkar. I have not seen him. I have never met him. But he used to know much more about me and my work. They too were not knowing each other, so they started talking to each other from where you have come, for what you have come. And she told him that I am coming from Germany. I wanted to learn Malkam, but these people are saying that you cannot learn Malkam, so I am frustrated. He said, don't worry, there is one Uday Deshpande. He is in Mumbai and he will definitely teach you Malkam. So she found out my number from the directory and called me in the night that uh, I'm coming from Germany, I want to learn Malkam, can you teach me Malkam? I said, why not? She said, but I'm 49. I said, so what? So she said, when should I come? I told her as early as possible. The next day morning at nine o'clock, she was here in Mumbai, along with her backpack. And she said, uh, I've come to learn Malkam, when can we start? I said, immediately. Actually that day was my, um, Elder brother's son was getting married. So I had finished all the teaching in the gym here and I was get, getting ready, dressed up, dressed up to go to the marriage. But when she came, I said, right now we'll start. I changed my dress and we started giving her training on the rope. And she stayed here for two months and she learned Malkam herself. Then we had our national championships in Satara in one of the rural areas in Maharashtra. She came all the way along with us to Satara. She met all the people coming from different parts of the country, pictures, videos, and she went back to Germany in 2003, March. And she said, uh, she wrote me a letter in 2003, April, that we want to conduct the first Malkam workshop in Germany, in Munich, in 2004, it was one year and three months in advance. So I got an opportunity. I called two girls from one college who knew German language. So I learned German language from them six to seven in the morning and seven to eight, I taught them Malkam and they, then they used to go to college. So in one year, I learned German language in such a way that in 2004, I conducted the first workshop, Malkam workshop in Germany, in German language, and that was so effective. Past 16 years, they have been inviting me, and I've been going there with 10 students, and we conduct two workshops there. In each workshop, there are 50 German children. So in one year, 100 German children learn Malkam. So last 16 years, 1,600 German children have learned Malkam. So this is how the Malkam has progressed Earlier, even in India, they used to say that Malkam, it is an exercise like dips and uh, baitak, that is sit-ups. It is not a uh, sport, but we were conducting the national championships, state championships. We had printed out the whole uh, um, code of point, we call it, how to evaluate a performance, how the marks are given. It's just like gymnastics code of points. A part, B part, C part, different categories of the elements, then difficulty 3.4, combination 1.6, execution 5.0, and there are five judges, one superior judge, four other judges. So all of them evaluate the performance. The marks given by the four judges are sent to the chief judge. He deletes the highest and lowest and takes the average of the middle two and tallies that average with his marks and then the score is declared. So all this is set, but government was not ready to give us a designation as authorized sport of country. <coughs> Only in 1996, we got the permission from Mukul Vasnik, then sports minister, and Malkam is recognized by government of India 
also by the railway board so those students who travel in different states for the taking part in the national championships get railway concession as well and in 1998 indian olympic association also gave us recognition now it is also included in the all india inter university competitions also on the uh, uh, national school games also so more people started taking part in the competitive malkham but malkham is not only competitive it is a performing art as well it's a martial art as well it's a fitness sport as well there are different reality shows on different channels in india it is entertainment ke liye kuch bhi karega or india has got talent the georgia has got talent the usa america has got talent in all these shows malkham was demonstrated and has won many accolades so when in 1987 malkham demonstration was given in moscow and kiev in russia and those russian people in the newspaper it was declared that three things russians admire about india number one was jawaharlal nehru number two was raj kapoor and now the number three is malkham so malkham is that popular and it is the growing popularity in different countries as well so it's my mission i have been practicing malkham since my childhood i came to this institution shri samartha vayam mandir when i was hardly 2 and 1/2 3 years old and now i am 70 but all these years i have been practicing malkham earlier i was doing it alone then i started teaching malkham to the younger kids here then i started promoting malkham in different parts of mumbai then in different parts of maharashtra in india in different states and now outside india in different countries and it's a ongoing mission earlier it was just because i liked it i am doing it then i realized the importance of it the benefits i derived from it then i was addicted so called addicted for practice even on the day of my marriage also i first come here and then i went for the marriage so it's a very good exercise for all age groups and for all the sports disciplines a complementary exercise so if you are a cricketer if you are a basketball player if you are a table tennis player if you are a footballer all, all these games require some definite sports ability the physical ability that is strength stamina speed endurance flexibility neuromuscular coordination balance confidence courage and all these abilities are best developed on the simple apparatus pole and rope malkham so i am very happy that all of you gathered today on the invitation of uh, jadranko mikles and uh, uh, got an opportunity i consider myself a fortunate to get this opportunity to express to you what is malkham and how we can promote it our dream is to take the malkham to the olympics so how you can be influential or helping me to promote this sport in your with your institution with no cost to you and we will promote malkham i think i will stop here for the minute so anybody has any questions any doubts you are most welcome to ask and then we will answer all the questions together okay mikles yes thank you very much there <laughs> uh, udai ji it's a beautiful uh, presentation and uh, it is really unique um, practice because it has integrative effect on the whole body so and uh, uh, being in the air on the rope and performing different yoga positions it is really engaging uh, total muscles of the body at the same time and uh, exercising them in a synchrony way <laughs> to be balanced so not that the legs are developed more than the upper part of the body or some other parts but simultaneous and very harmonious development of the whole body right right so this the is post we can say stapatya veda of human body <laughs> to 
to make proper design of human body in a, a beautiful proportions which nature uh, gave us and absolutely maintain yeah. it. So we are very happy that you will be coming to Croatia and that we will have a beautiful weekend and with Malakam and everybody come to enjoy and uh, practice. Absolutely. Yes, there is one question. One okay. person was asking that which kind, which type of hernia could be uh, uh, cured with Malakam? Which type of? Uh, hernia. You mentioned oh, about yeah. some problems yeah, with yeah. hernia. Some people were improving. Yeah, I have got many instances. One of my students, he was having kidney stone. Some of them <laughs> was having hernia. But when they started practicing, after a few days, doctor said, it is cured. You don't need to have operation. So, uh, of course, I know a lot of research yet has to be done on that because what we uh, practice is just because of our experience. But more research is required to be made on this. Like I said, Dr. Nita Tatke, who made the research and the mental abilities, how they are best developed by the practice of Malcolm. Like the, the medical professions should come forward and study this in details so that we can say authentically that this is the reason. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> Here in uh, Croatia, in Zagreb and some other cities, they are having practice of the dance on the silk. Yeah, Indian silk. The girls, yes. Right. And, uh, it origin 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 is from Malakam idea. <laughs> Absolutely, the rope Malakam only in rope Malakam they hold the rope between the toes, whereas on the silk they grasp it by the toes and not hold it in the toes. So that's the, the different, but there are many similarities, many different moves are there, many identical moves are there, but it's equally attractive and pleasurable to watch it. Aerial, the origin of that goes to France, but um, uh, it's similar to Malkam, what we have. Even the Chinese, they have got the Chinese pole. It's a metal pole and they do different sort of acrobatic yogic exercises, poles and fast movements on that. It's same on the pole malcolm. The pole malcolm is wooden. It is fixed in the ground, open at the top, but this Chinese pole is fixed on both the ends and it's a metal and they do circulatory and uh, balancing movements on that. It's very interesting. Beautiful. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you will send us the details how to make it. We will make it here in, uh, in Zagreb. <laughs> wow. Wooden, wooden pole. Yeah. <laughs> okay, ready. <laughs> okay. Anybody else? Any questions? I want to. I. Yes. I will be interested. Yes, you can ask. Uh, you can now join with the camera if you like and ask the question. Yeah, you can unmute yourself. Yeah. Uh, keep your video open. <laughs> And just uh, put your question. Raj Shivatoji, how did you find uh, Malkam? Whether you were knowing it from earlier or after listening to me, you came to know about Malkam? Yeah, I came to. Uh, I know about it, but yes, of course, listening from you, it is much more uh, uh, what you call coming from a professional. It gives the more yeah. confidence about you are listening the truth. Uh, Actually, Malcolm is not my profession. I was working with Customs and Central Excise in Mumbai. After right. my graduation, I joined the department as inspector, then became superintendent, then became assistant commissioner. And after 38 years of service, I retired at the age of 60 as deputy commissioner. But during all these years, I was practicing Malkam in the morning, in the evening at Sri Samarthavayam Mandir. And during 10 to 5, I used to go to my office and come back here. Right, right. Yeah. So somebody who is as knowledgeable as you would definitely 
create more awareness about it. So I was aware about it, but now that you are telling this way, it is much more knowledgeable. <laughs> and uh, through ICCR also, we can try to get Malcolm to different countries. Like we had been to um, Kazakhstan when the, there was war was going on between Ukraine and uh, Russia. On, in month of April, I was in Kazakhstan. And our embassy in Kazakhstan took a lot of interest and we conducted two workshops, one in Astana and one in Almaty. And those people who were not knowing anything about Malkam, they performed Malkam so excellently, they learned it so fast. I was also surprised because they were doing yoga exercises. So those who do yoga can learn Malkam very fast. Yes, I think it's uh, very important to do some physical uh, exercises to develop strength and stamina and uh, coordination. I remember Aye. also that uh, the great yoga masters from India, they were also uh, exercise, doing exercises like Maharishi Swami Demurti, you know, this great Himalayan master and, Swam, and uh, Swami Shivananda. Uh, he also were, and then uh, Dr. Brihaspati Dev Triguna, great Irish yes. doctor, he was also a wrestler in his young age. <laughs> right, right. Even Swami Ramdev, Swami Ramdev Maharaj also is doing Malkam very well since his childhood. And now he's provoking, uh, provocating and uh, preaching uh, Malkam all over during his speeches along with yoga. Yeah, so we are very much interested uh, when you are coming to to make us, uh, you know, able to be on the world championship. <laughs> right, right. We had to create a team of Croatia, a team of other countries as well, which will take part in the second world championship. I'll be going to Bhutan on 25th or 26th of this month, September, to visit the venue and finalize the second world championship. And I'm sure um, more than 50 countries will take part in that. Ah, uh, beautiful. <laughs> so, is uh, there any question? Please feel free to ask uh, our dear guest any question. Uh, for I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry that I did not uh, show you anything. Actually, if I, I was ill-prepared, if I would have been more uh, prepared, then I would have shown you some photographs, some PowerPoint, <laughs> and that would have been more interesting. But uh, because of lack of time, because I was not in town, I just came today morning, and uh, I had been to uh, West Bengal and Assam, and I came just today morning to Mumbai, and uh, today we are meeting here. Otherwise, I should have prepared some uh, nice PowerPoint presentation or some photographs, some videos of the first World Championship, how many countries participated and their performances. Because we know that Malkam is very popular in India, but you'll be surprised to know the first person, uh, the women in the women category, who came first in the World Championship, she was from Japan, Kaike Takemoto. She came first in uh, Paul Malkam. The second was Delia Siruti. She was from Italy. The third one was Himani Parat, who was from India. But combined marks of Paul and Rook Malkam, Himani was the champion. So if you learn Malkam, you will surpass India also and go ahead, definitely. So uh, they are saying uh, that in Tibingen there are interested people to learn Malakam. In uh, Tibingen, it's uh, in Germany city. The, there is they have a big uh, university for uh, sport in Tibingen. Okay. Yes, I used to teach yoga there also, and uh, there are many many young students and. Uh, many people interested for sport and especially for Malakam would be great. Very nice. You can connect to me through uh, Jadranko and we will finalize the dates and uh, go to uh, your place and 
conduct workshop for Malkam. And also, was Malkam practiced together with Hatha Yoga? And if so, when did those two split? This is another question. So, uh -huh. huh, basically, the Malkam was for complementary exercise for wrestling. So, the wrestlers used to practice Malkam. The different skills they were using in wrestling, they, to better those skills, they used to practice on the pole. And of course, I told you the Malkam is the beautiful combination of gymnastics, the wrestling, and it's a dynamism, the fast movements of gymnastics, and also the steady positions, the intricate positions of yoga. It's a beautiful combination. It develops strength also. It develops the flexibility also. So usually when the flexibility increases, the strength comes down. When the strength is increased, the flexibility comes down. But Malkam is the only to develop the flexibility as well as the strength. <coughs> so those who practice Malkam can play any other sports with ease, with more expertise, more better results, and they, it, they, it will improve their physique, the perfect body shape, and the excess fat will go away, and the disease resistance power will be increased. All these are the benefits of Malkam. Yes, there was one question. You mentioned connection of Malakam with Hatha Yoga, and you mentioned the ancient book uh, Kapala Koruntaka. Ah. There is that uh, connection and mentioning of the um, yoga practice on the road. And right. I know that Kapala Koruntaka is the one of the main source book for the Ashtanga yoga practice. Right, right. right. Dynamic practice. So there may be many Rushis and Munis still practicing Malkam. But when we look at the competitive aspect of Malkam, it's so demanding that Malkam players do not practice wrestling, do not practice yoga separately. While doing Malkam only, they get so many exercises. Earlier, all wrestlers used to practice on the pole. All the Malkam players used to practice wrestling in the pit, Akhada. But now that connection is not there. Maybe during last about say 50 years, that has diminished slowly, slowly. Any other question? It's nice interaction. I like to listen to you. Curious to know your reactions. How did you find to hear about Malkam? And Jadranko, you can just give them WhatsApp number or my. Um, email ID so that get in touch with me um, directly. They can definitely get in touch with me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I will uh, give your uh, details on, ah. the, on the, <clears throat> the telephone number and email address. Right, right. And also this uh, presentation will be on the YouTube channel available to many other people which are not, were not able to be present at the time, but they are interested yeah. to watch, to see. <laughs> mm. Yes, so thank you. Thank you very much for a beautiful presentation. And, it's my pleasure. Yes. Thanks a lot. And, uh, and uh, as I remember this, uh, when you organized, it was really fantastic atmosphere in Bhopal. And yeah. there were also competition. Hmm? They got right. awards, the, the best performance. <laughs> Good.
Yes, and uh, what I could see at that time, the the young the the boys when they were doing on the wooden pole, pole. Before, like, before they performed, they were doing all possible uh, yogic asanas yes, as yes. Uh, warm up <laughs> practice <laughs> before. So yes. it is uh, very much related with the yoga and with the practice of yogic asanas. Right. And right. Malakamb is one unit. It actually, Absolutely. this is apply the skill of yoga on the uh, where there is integrated also the strength uh, part even more than doing the yoga asanas on the ground because ah. when you are in the air, much, many more muscles must be involved. Yes, yes. If your body and the confidence, confidence and courage. All other games are played on the ground level, say football, hockey, cricket. But here the only game which is played five feet, ten feet above the ground. So there is some fear complex. You are afraid of going up. It's good to stand on the ground, but little difficult to stand on two feet uh, stool, difficult to stand on six feet uh, stool. So more up you go, more fear is there in mind. So Malcolm teaches to be fearless, to be more uh, uh, not afraid of anything, to have courage and confidence. That's the most important uh, asset, asset of learning Malcolm. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much <laughs> for everything. And um, our dear ambassador, His Excellency Raj Kumar Shivastava, um, if you would like to give um, final yes. address to our speaker. <laughs> uh, he has left. Ah, yes, he needed to go. Yes. Uh. Then, uh, very soon, in the um, 15th and uh, 16th 15. of October, yes, we will have uh, our dear Uday Vishwanath Deshpande with us here in Croatia, in Zagreb, and um, he will be doing a great promotion and presenting us this ancient art. So please, everybody, you can uh, apply, you can send uh, your interest uh, application to my email address, yadrenko.miklets, uh, then at gmail.com. And uh, then uh, uh, we will inform you about the place where it will be um, held. So all the best and uh, namaste. Namaste, thank you namaste. very much. Well, and thank you for participation. Thank My you. pleasure, sir. Thank you.